All right, guys, Richard here. So, <clears throat> got to get out this morning. It's a beautiful morning, not too humid yet. Not real, uh, not real hot yet. It's warm, but not crazy. But, yeah, just so we want to get out and talk, uh, take a ride and talk with you for a few minutes. I got a, a subject that I've been wanting to make a video about. And I was going to do it in the studio. It's one of those rainy day videos. I just been sitting on for a while, waiting for a day where I couldn't really get out and was just going to, um, you know, record it in studio. But we've been experiencing a drought and haven't had any rain here in the area of Florida that I'm in. We've had a lot of rain around us. Um, oftentimes in the afternoon, we hear the thunder, see the lightning but it just doesn't quite come overhead. And so we're experiencing, it's actually, uh, we're now considered to be in a severe drought. These things are so dry. It's been like this all summer. It's been like this through the spring. So, you know, I don't have a rainy day to make a rainy day video, so, so you know what, we'll just get out and ride and talk a little bit. So the thing I wanna talk about is, um, the, uh, the, I don't want to call it a scam, um, you know, maybe it's a marketing scam, I guess, but I want to talk about e-bike sales, sale prices, and some of you probably know where I'm going with this, but a lot of you may not, because if you're new to e-bikes, or if you're still shopping and kind of getting familiar with them, then this is some information that you definitely want to know about. So last November, um, you know, in the month of November, you have Black Friday sales, and and a lot of companies are now calling it Black November, and they have really good sales all all month long, and it's right before the holidays, and you know that's kind of to be expected, and that's about the time I was looking for my first e-bike, and so shopping for my first e-bike, you know, I kept seeing all these advertisements online about. Um, you know, the November sale, you, know, you buy this bike at $500 off, or buy two bikes and get $800 off, and, and I just kept seeing this, and I thought, you know, this is a good time to buy a bike, because we're accustomed to the sales in the month of November, and I thought, man, this is, this is really good. So I started narrowing down my, my choices, and I ultimately ended up buying the Mach Wheel Basalt. And one of the reasons I bought the Mach Wheel Basalt, even though it was a, you know, a company I wasn't real familiar with, because, well, they were actually kind of new. But I didn't know that as a new buyer. But, you know, they, they had a, what seemed to be a really good price. And they had the Basalt, I think it was listed at uh, 20, like 22.99 or something like that. But then it was on sale for 19.99. So it was a couple hundred dollars off, and I thought, okay, well, that's good. But then on top of that, they, they advertised that they had $700 worth of free accessories. And I thought, holy smokes, you know, that's, that's really good. If I can get a bunch of accessories that I don't have to go out and spend additional money on. And the accessories included things like, you know, the helmet and mirrors and a bike lock. And uh, if you're familiar with the Mafia brand, they have an inverter that allows you to put, plug in a solar panel to it if you have a solar panel or allows you to use the bike battery to power other appliances so it's good for like camping and stuff so they had that down there and I don't remember what else was, there was a few things you know man this is great so I I chose that as my first bike and I, I bought it well as it turned out it took almost two months to get those accessories and by the time the accessories showed up you know I had already purchased a bike helmet I already purchased mirrors, I already purchased a bike lock and some of these other things because you kind of need those things right away. You don't want to have to wait two months. So that was the first, I won't say scam, but we'll just call it a sham. So that was the first thing. Now, what I've learned since then, since I started following e-bikes and e-bike companies and manufacturers and really studying the different brands that are available out there, and, you know, and then I developed this YouTube channel and and started uh, the e-bike, uh, doing e-bikes on my channel. 
So I've gotten real familiar with a lot of these brands. And something that I learned is that, you know, a lot of these companies will, you know, they 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 take on the marketing practice practice of jacking up a price just so they can put it on sale to make it look good. And we've all seen that. We we know it happens. You know, we we and in fact we've seen stores that will actually increase the price just to turn around and say it's 30% off. And you know, retailers do it all over the place. And so it's really no different than than you're shopping online, you often see it. Now not all companies do it. Some companies are really good about not doing it. And when something goes on sale, it's truly a sale off the original price. But from what I've seen, that really isn't the case when it comes to e-bikes. There's just this, there's just this, I don't know, this thing within the e-bike community that the, the, the practice is jack up the price just so you can lower it and call it a sale. So when you're out there shopping for a bike and you you know your first one and you're not familiar with it you see something that says hey you know it's a uh, I'll use Father's Day Father's Day sale and you can get this bike for $500 off and you know it's it looks really good and you go out there and snatch it up but then you wait two or three weeks or a month at the most and then there's a new holiday sale it turns into well, I don't know what came next 4th of July or something there's an Independence Day sale and look, you can get this bike for $500 off, and wow, you know, and they really promote it and talk about how, you know, they love America, and they're going to give you this bike for $500 off, and then the next thing you know, that holiday comes and goes, and you still see those advertisements for another couple of weeks, and the price hasn't changed, and, and then... Oh look, they have another sale. It's it's the summer sale, you know, midsummer sale or something. And, and you know, they come up with if there's not a holiday, uh, you know, within a three week t span or so, they they make something up and call it a midsummer sale or our our anniversary sale or something. And oh look, you now that bike is five hundred dollars off. And so I've been watching this you know, unfold over the last I don't know eight months or so. And come to realize that you know, for the most part the sale prices mean absolutely nothing and you, you know that's just the original price that's just the price that they're shooting for all along and that's just the price of the bike and everything else is just a marketing gimmick and it shouldn't be a big surprise with you know how how retailers work but yeah I just wanted all you new folks to, to make sure you understood that don't don't get suckered into buying something because it's on sale you know I did it <laughs> Having this knowledge, I, I allowed myself to get suckered into it also. And here's, here's what happened. Whoa. I can barely get between those with these mirrors. So, I had been looking at the electric XP ever since we first started looking at trikes for my wife. And we ended up buying the Bison Pro. Oh, by the way, which was on sale for like $300 off or something. And that was a couple of months ago. But uh, the XP trike, which is new, it, been, it came out, with, I don't know, what was it, like February or something? And it was marked down, I don't know, I think they had it marked down like $200 or something. Don't really remember now. But they had a promotion where you buy the trike and they're going to give you the comfort package and they're going to give you the baskets. Okay? And that was just part of the deal. And that, that promotion was coming to an, ooh, scrape my mirror. That promotion was coming to an end, and it was like only you know five days left, only three days left, only two days left, and I kept contemplating whether or not we should try it for my wife, and that's when I decided to go ahead and buy it. And I bought it on the last day of the promotional, you know, because it was a brand new product, because I wanted to make sure, you know, I got the cargo package and the extra, you know, the seat without having to, you know, pay extra for it. So I snatched it up past this person right here. Hello. So I snatched it up. And I was curious as to what was going to happen the following day. So I went out there and looked the following day and well sure enough they 
they still had the Tricon, you know, priced at $14.99. But if you wanted the cargo package and the seat, you had to pay extra for it. It's like $177 for all, you know, the three baskets and the, or two baskets in the rack. And then the seat was like, I don't know, $39 or something. And I thought, huh, okay. And I felt kind of good about the fact that I, I went ahead and purchased it on the last day and, you know, saved a couple hundred dollars there and didn't have to buy those additional accessories. Well, that lasted about a week. And then, oh, there's another sale, you know, another holiday sale, something going on in midsummer sale, or I don't know what it was, but, and guess what? You can now buy the trike for $14.99, and if you hurry, they're going to include the cargo package. And I think the, I think they still include the seat. And that's just how it is. So the price for the trike seems to be their normal price is going to be $14.99 with those free extra items there. So yeah, I got snookered a little bit. I mean, I was going to buy it anyway. It's just that I was thinking, okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and make the decision and <laughs> buy it when I did on that last day, thinking I was going to get you know the baskets included for free. And that's just kind of the norm for them. Whereas typically, uh, a lot of you know, a lot of these companies they do make you buy the basket separately. Um, you know, sometimes they'll include like the front basket or something, and it's included in the in the purchase price. But then, if you want a rear basket or if you want that that rack that goes on the front in place of a basket, then those you you honestly do have to, to buy those for most companies. And so, because I had that knowledge, I was expecting that I would just have to eventually buy those and. I didn't. That just seems to be what they're doing. It's just part of their part of their gig. So I don't know. It's kind of kind of frustrating to see people treat other people that way. And you know, I know it's just marketing practices. It's just how they do business. But you know, I don't know. It just that's just funny. Hay bike. Hay bike is real bad for that too because they you know, every three weeks they roll out a new sale for. A new holiday or something and and it's just the same prices over and over and over again so I just wanted you to be aware of that and you know so you especially for those folks that are new you know if you go out and buy a bike one time you, you probably don't know this either because you just you go out you buy your bike and then you're not really necessarily following prices and following different brands and that sort of thing so you just may not be aware of it but from my perspective where I'm at where I yeah, I'm in contact with these companies and I'm watching these companies and I'm looking for new products to come out and I'm constantly seeing these advertisements show up in my in my news feed and yeah kind of kind of catch on to it so hopefully this helps somebody if it did give me a thumbs up if you have any questions drop them down below and then share with me your experience if you feel like you got snookered on a sales price <laughs> uh, name names you know tell us uh, what company it was tell us uh, what happened because I like stories like that. I do. Hey, and until the next video, ride safe.